Hey everybody, this is Susan with Susan Monroe Art, and today is beautiful. It's a Saturday morning, so I decided to come out and do some urban sketching uh, at a park near my house, and uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and I wanted to record it and share it with you so we can see what the experience is like. Let me show you where I am, and we'll get going. I'm at this beautiful duck pond. It's one of my favorite places to come. Just gorgeous. So of course I couldn't leave without my sketchbook. Actually, I did leave without my sketchbook and I had to go home and get it. But yes, my sketchbook. I've got my watercolors. I'm not sure I'll get to watercoloring out here, but I'll at least have them with me in case I get the drawing done. I've got my little Tupperware to put water in. I've got a bottle of water in my backpack. I have my Micron pens. I've got pencils. I've got pencil sharpener. I also have my reading glasses because, um, just because I need them. And I've got a white gel pen. This is the pouch I'm keeping all my stuff in. See, there are a couple other things in here. These are some travel brushes I got. I don't know if I'll use them, but it's nice. Everything fits in this little pouch except for my uh, sketchbook, which is fine. All right, I'm going to get to work. Right now, I'm really just trying to map out where things are. Drawing from life is much harder for me than drawing from a photograph and not something I do as often. Um, so yeah, this is a little bit of a challenge. And I just have to keep in mind I'm drawing everything in relation to everything else. So I'm going to flip this up just again so you can see exactly what I'm seeing here. See. This little tree right here in relation to the bank, in relation to the house. Everything. I, I look at it in relation to the other things. So flip this back down. Get back to work. with my pencil drawing um, and I've really sort of truncated the drawing to fit more in. This area is wider in reality and you can actually see a little more of another house in here but I just sort of cut that out and squeeze things a little closer together so I could get more of the picture that I wanted. So now I'm going to start inking my drawing and I've got 
four sizes of micron pens here. But this is a one, this is a 0 0.08, 0 0.05, 0 0.01. So the things that are further away, I want to do with the lightest line, the smallest pen. And as things get closer in perspective, uh, you know, background, middle ground, foreground, the lines will get thicker. All right, that's just a little drawing trick that tricks your eye into uh, seeing things in, in, in perspective. Okay, so I'm done with my inking, and I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out. Um, I've run out of time to be outside. It's time for lunch, and I've got to run in. So I think I will paint this inside from, uh, I'll take some pictures, and then get to work doing that. So here I am back at home after lunch to do my, my painting. I'm not back outside, but my window's open, so that, that counts for something. I've got my little travel um, watercolor kit here. It's a, a Spearer Farben. Spearer Farben. I never know how to pronounce that. And I really like this little kit. I just, it's small and it's cute. And I have a photo I'm working from here on my iPad. And of course my drawing. I've erased the pencil lines. And now I'm going to get to work on it. So these trees up here are mostly backlit. So they're going to be pretty dark. I'm going to uh, show that with a dark green and I might just add some other fun colors just to make it interesting.
Okay, I think I'm done. That was super fun to do. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you like this, uh, please give uh, my painting a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing more urban sketching. I'll be doing more painting tutorials and um, anything to help you with your artwork. Uh, be nice to yourself and thanks for watching. Bye.